Hi guys, it is Username K and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Motorcycle Live Show in England. It is basically the UK's version of Intermort Eichma and obviously we in the UK get to see the 2023 models later than everybody else in Europe, which is a shame. But we're here and we're going to check out the most sexy new bikes for 2023. So if that's of interest, stick around and stay tuned. So BMW have some exciting bikes for 2023. Now, BMW already have an M1000RR, but this year it has been revamped and revitalised. Just look at it, we've got new aerodynamic built-in carbon front fairing, meaning that the bike is now capable of 195 miles an hour. The bike, as you can see, is dripping in carbon fibre, it is ludicrous. And just look at those wings. So we've got winglets that increase the downforce by 39% and believe me, they are gigantic compared to last year's M1000RR. If you look at the front wheel there, we've got new M aero wheel covers including M brake ducts. The TFT dash is encompassed by, again, more carbon fibre And we have a taller screen on the M1000RR for better tuckage. Having a look at the back, we've got a new cowl. It's redesigned. It's again dripping in carbon fibre. You have a little plastic bit with RR on there, which also doubles up as a GoPro mount or GoPro holder. So if you want to capture your best laps on track, you can do that. If we have a look down here, we've got the Mazoki suspension. And then we've got that Akrapovic, as predicted, with the carbon tip. Now let's take a look at the brand new model for 2023, the M1000R. So guys, I am here with Dom. Dom, what is your role with BMWs and such? Yeah. So hey Kate, um, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm Dominic, I'm last time the product manager for this beauty in front of us and uh, lucky that we can have a chat about it. Yes, so the M1000R, brand new model, like the second M in the range for Motorrad. Yeah. Talk to us about it, you know, just some stats, some features and some things that you really like about it. Yeah, yeah there's actually a lot, so okay. it's quite, <laughs> quite difficult. So actually, what was the aim? making this bike like uh, it's now the, the really with 210 horsepower so it's mm. like the strongest dynamic roadster in the world currently yes. and um, uh, our aim was like we wanted to widen our range mm. of M and we wanted to bring it also onto public roads and this bike has like this super bike DNA inside mm. but it's also has the advantages of being in roadster yes. so you can go in city traffic windy country roads but on the weekend when you're on the racetrack you can yeah. also battle with the with the race bikes wow yeah so regarding features so of course the shift cam engine is yes. amazing with 210 horsepower then first thing everybody will notice are the massive winglets yes. but they're really they really made really made for performance so mm -hmm. it's just there to keep our front wheel down so yes. above 70 miles per hour or something we really need them to get it stable front wheel down they're really really practical but also lookingly exclusive yeah and then one of my next favorite features are the M brakes. Mm. If I think it's benchmark in braking currently, it's such a nice point for for touching and uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Then of course this one here is our 
M competition version. Yeah. So the competition is only available in the black. Is that right? Correct. You're totally okay. right. So it's if you, you if you choose the competition, you get a black bike with all carbon fiber parts over it, mm -hmm. and also the carbon wheels, which yes. bringing the bike the weight down of another 1.6 kilo, which is wow. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but you actually in standard you already get everything. Yeah. You you you. You would ever need. need. Yeah, yeah. Like. This is just obscene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like you see exclusively. I am I'm owner of an M competition in the yeah. end. Yeah. No, okay. but for the standard you already get everything you had before in the S1000R. Mm -hmm. So. Amazing. In standard. Yeah. No, I'm really looking forward to riding this. Like 210 in a naked bike is obscene. I can't wait to take it on the twisty roads yeah. and just really enjoy it. Yeah, we will really enjoy it. Yeah, what about this exhaust? Yeah, so this one has a full titanium exhaust. Mm. So the slip-on is always standard. Yeah. And uh, the full the muffler is uh -huh. bringing the weight down of another 2.7 kilos. Wow. So you can reduce it by 4 kilos. So it's already in standard only 199, mm -hmm. which is really good yeah. having all this feature on it. But one feature I just also want to talk about is like all the electronics which are inside because we have like a wheelie control, we have a yeah. stoppy control, we have now also a really new brake slide assist mm -hmm. which allows you to enter the corners like sideways but controlled. It's wow. really nice. No, I'm a big fan of electronics because of my skill level. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm grateful for yeah. it. Yeah, that's so. the point. This bike, everybody is able yeah. to ride it, even if it has such much power. You can really adjust with the modes everything. You mm -hmm. have to race pro modes to adjust yeah. everything to your needs. But you also have the standard modes like rain, road, dynamic oh. and race. And also the suspension is adjusting accordingly. So it's everything there. So it can you be need. a kitten if you want it to be, or it can be a lion if you want yeah, it to be. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, and for that. being a lion, we we have um, with this bike now also uh, really direct throttle response. We call it the insane mode. Insane because it, mode, wow. Because it's like so much, um, it has like a really strong force in the beginning and it makes, makes a lot of fun. Wow, yeah. No, like I said, I can't wait to get on it and yeah, just see what I think. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we're, well, you're going to have a good time. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time and you're explaining welcome, to my audience a bit more about this beautiful bike. It was and, yeah, a pleasure. I need to get my hands on one now. Yeah, you should. <laughs> thank you. It was a pleasure, Kate. So, we've seen the sexy new shiny things on the BMW stand. And I know a lot of people have come here expecting to maybe have a glimpse of the anticipated potential R1300GS, but it is not here. Now, my personal predictions is that we'll probably see it in something like 2024 as like a, a model year, so we may see it next year in August. I have no insider information. This is literally just my personal guess. When do you guys think we'll see it, if we see it at all? Let me know in the comments below. Right guys, we've come to the Triumph stand. Now, in MCN, in all the news articles and, you know, visor down, they, oh God, that light's a bit harsh. They all showed this 765 limited number, serial numbered, motor to, Street Triple 765 RS and I'd seen pictures of it and I was like hmm, I've had a Street Triple before I've seen it on the stand oh, I'm actually gutted that I didn't put an order in so maybe I'm going to wait till someone has you know oh my body's not designed for this bike and then have to look for some low mileage quality used ones but it is next level. Let me show you. Oh, 
Oh, just everything about it pops. I swear this GoPro is not doing this tank justice. It's fluorescent and sometimes I think fluorescent bikes can look a bit cheesy, but not this. Absolutely not this bike. It is popping. It's an eye catcher. It's sexy. Street Triple Motor 2 Edition. We've got clip-ons on this. Just look at it. Serial numbered. Limited edition. Honestly, for those that got their hands on this, I am pretty jealous. 130 brake horsepower. Again, it's just fitted with the awesome stuff that the RS is fitted with. You've got the Olin's upside down forks. You've got the Olin's shock. You've got this Motor 2 exhaust, which has a carbon tip with the Triumph logo. You've got this aggressive bug-esque headlight. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and it's definitely one of my personal highlights for 2023. Now there's another collection that I want to show you guys and it's Triumph's Chrome collection and they've got a few bikes which really tickle my pickle so come with me and we'll have a look at them. Now I feel really blessed to film this bike before the crowds come in because I can guarantee with the amount of fingerprints of all the people sitting on this bike this tank won't look so shiny after an hour or so however look at it it's just stunning you've got the red the crow so this is the rocket 3 gt but there are other models in the chrome collection for example we have the triumph bonneville bobber so this has a chrome tank but it has black on there as well let's move this you've got the beautiful logo very understated a nice black seat Oh, it's just gorgeous. At the stand, there's displays of the tank. Now that is gorgeous. That is a Thruxton tank and it's best demonstrated on the Thruxton itself. So this is Triumph's Thruxton RS. And again, this collection is new. Guys and girls, what do you think about the Chrome collection? Do you think it's gorgeous, elegant and tasteful? Or do you think it might be a little bit high maintenance? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I'm scrambling over to scrambling. See what I did there? The Ducati stand because it's still quiet. I know the door's going to open pretty soon and then it's going to be manic and madness. So I just want to get some clear imagery of some things that excite me on the Ducati stand. Right, so this is one of the bikes that I personally have been most excited about in 2023. It is the Ducati. Diavel V4. Now, you know what? I, I like the look of the, the 1260 Diavel. I never got to ride it though. However, hopefully I can ride this incredible bike with an incredible engine. Let's have a look.
I'm really sorry guys if you have that phobia of holes. Another bike that really piqued my interest when it was released is the Lamborghini Street Fighter V4S. Just look at it. Honestly, when you see this bike in the flesh, I thought it may have been a bit garish, but I was so wrong. It actually just looks quality. It looks expensive. I mean, I know it is. It looks elegant. It's angular. It's got so much carbon. It's got all the Olins you can throw at it. It is an absolute piece of art. Oh, stunning, so stunning. So we're milling over now to Honda because I want to look at what the fuss is all about for the new Honda Hornet for 2023. Now Honda have got that parallel twin engine and I just want to show you the bike up close and personal and if I'm lucky, hopefully I can get an expert to talk me and you through the bike. Right guys, I'm on the Honda stand. I have collared Brian, the operations <laughs> manager. He's just gonna mention a little bit about the bike and we'll hear it from him, what he thinks about the bike personally and a few little stats. So, Brian, take it away. Hi, Do good morning. Morning. Welcome to Honda. <laughs> hey. So, tell us, when can we see this bike, you know, in the UK in the showrooms? So, um, we're currently on track to um, accept the bike early in 2023, so from January onwards, um, hoping to get the bikes into our dealer network so customers can demonstrate the bike, demo it, um, and with customer orders being served probably February to March. Awesome. Now, what engine is in this Hornet? Um... Well, that's a great question because it's our new 750cc engine. So unfortunately, most of us on the stand um, for the next, mm -hmm. until Sunday for the 10 days, haven't ridden the bike. Yes. So we are hoping to ride it as well with customers in, in January. <laughs> awesome. So Brian, do we know what kind of power this bike's producing? So the bike um, is, uh, we've got it at 90 brake. Cool. So 90 brake horsepower, and who would you say this bike is really aimed at? Generally, it's aimed at um, mid-range customers, so it could be customers stepping up from an A2 license. Um, we, we, um, we see the bike as, um, as, as to, to gain new customers, and also uh, customers that maybe had the original Hornet. Yeah, yeah. So this bike, Brian, from me sitting on it and having a look, it seems pretty accessible. Um, yep. Do you know what sort of height and weight we're working with with this bike? So the seat height we, we, is in millimetres, so yep. that's around 795. Awesome. And you're right, it is, it, it, is, um, it is an accessible height for most people. Mm -hmm. And actually the curb weight on it is 190. Right, so that is, that's pretty light. Yeah. That is good. Well, Brian, I'm super looking forward to riding Brilliant. the bike and thank you for your time. No problem at all, thank you. Awesome. So whilst I've been roaming the Honda stand, I've seen something that's caught my eye. It's a bike that I've ridden, the CB1000R, black edition. So it's not new new, but it's come in a new colour scheme, which I wasn't expecting. The black edition was just the black edition in my eyes, but now we've got the black edition in a really nice matte blue. Let me show you. So this new colour is Matte Jeans Blue Metallic. And it genuinely does look like a lovely denim blue. And I still get that it's the black edition or the black collection because, you know, you've got the black engine with those lovely highlights as usual. Still got the lovely black forks. I definitely feel though that it might be a bike that does look better in the flesh than my camera picks up, but genuinely it is stunning. So I can't ignore the new Transalp, shares the same engine platform as the new Hornet 
and it just looks wonderful 750 parallel twin again that's a different it used to be a v-twin So just quickly looking at the Transal, we've got a tank capacity of 16.9 litres. We have a seat height of 850. So I'd be used to that, and that's what my GS is. And it has a weight of 208 kilograms. What do you guys think about the new Transalp? Let me know in the comments below. Who do you think it's competing with? Do you think Honda have done a good thing with it? I want to know your thoughts. Right, we're now at the Suzuki stand and I want to show you a new bike for 2023. It is the highly anticipated GSX-8S. So, here she is, Suzuki's parallel twin platform. Now I'm kind of seeing a few similarities with Honda and Suzuki. So with Honda you've got the Hornet, that's got a parallel twin. And then they've put that in the Transalp. You have the GSX 8S and that parallel twin is also in the new V-Strom. So I definitely see what both the brands are doing. Now visually you can see that it shares the same kind of stacked style headlight as its big brother, the GSX-S1000. It's got 82 horsepower and it has 78 newton meters of torque. I kind of feel like this bike is giving a nod to the Gladius with the bold blue color. You've got a lot of blue fairing at the front, blue wheels, you've got the blue frame going up to the exact same blue in the fairing. On this one, you've got white, but again, you've got blue wheels, you've got the blue frame, and then you've got these graphics. Guys, what do you think about this bike? Do you like the GSX 8S? What do you think of it? Do you think there's a market for it? Are you happy with the direction Suzuki have gone in with a parallel twin? Do you like the strong blues? Let me know. Now, it wouldn't be right for me to show you guys this bike again without just having a brief glance over the V-Strom. So this is a V-Strom 800DE. It shares the same engine as the GSX 8S. Again, parallel twin, but Suzuki have really brought it for this year with this V-Strom. It comes with a load of features. It's got a quick shifter and auto blipper. We have a TFT screen on the V-Strom. Long awaited and very happy it's here. We got a tall seat height, 855 mil. It's creeping up, these adventure bike heights are creeping up. Chain drive, 21 inch front wheel, slightly different fairing. Again, you've got the stacked headlights. Yeah, nice change from Suzuki there. The show is about to open up to the general public. So I hope you just had a nice little insight of some new bikes for 2023 and I think my personal favourites this year are the M1000R, cannot wait to ride that. It's like 210 brake horsepower in a naked bike and then we've got the Ducati Diavel V4. Don't get me wrong, I love the looks of it from the back. From the front, I'm not all that keen on the front like sort of intakes. However, I don't doubt that it's going to be an absolute maniac to ride. I absolutely can't wait to, you know, I mean, there's not going to be a demo of that Moto 2 Edition 765RS, which kind of sucks because I would have loved to have ridden it, but limited numbers, they all sold out instantly. Yeah, we're not going to be able to demo those. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little walk round of the NEC Motorcycle Live in Birmingham. Let me know what your favourite new bikes are for 2023 and I'm sorry if I've missed them but it's a big show and there's a lot to see. So yeah, until the next time, take care and ride safe.